Bye. All right, as we head over to Chief Meteorologist Marcus Bagwell, the work week is coming to an end. A lot of people have outdoor plans for Dad's Day. Uh huh. Is it going to rain, Marcus? Going to rain on Dad's Day? <laughs> ah, there you go. That's the big question. And then we will have a few showers around, even on Dad's Day on Sunday. And we've had to increase the rain chance as well for tomorrow in parts of East Texas. We'll show you that here in just a moment. Here's downtown Nacogdoches. You notice some of those puffy cumulus clouds over the area. We've had a decent breeze this afternoon, south and southeast up to 10 miles an hour. That typically is really ushering in rich Gulf moisture. But our dew points today have stayed in the lower to mid 60s. Yes, it's muggy outside, don't get me wrong, but what we will see come Saturday, Sunday, and Monday will be more intense humidity compared to what we've dealt with the last couple of afternoons. So we'll take temperatures now that are in the lower 90s with a heat index essentially the same as the air temperature. Next week, we will be tracking those heat indices closer and closer to 100, even on track for that over the weekend. We've had a couple of showers over parts of Houston and Trinity County a bit earlier. Now the focus turning towards some storms back off to our northwest. A lot of this in the uh, Red River vicinity, parts of Oklahoma, moving into the northern part of the state of Texas. Also, some stronger storms as well back in the parts of the uh, Texas Panhandle at this point. This is going to make a run down to the southeast. Let me show you how Futurecast plays this out. As we go through this evening, those storms as they move into the central and northern parts of the DFW area, they will begin to weaken a stable air does begin to take over. However, the storms were still going to hold their strength as the second round from the Texas Panhandle will move in later on this evening. So here's 1 a.m. on Saturday. For us, we're okay at this point. Some stronger storms approaching near the DFW area into early Saturday morning. As we get toward about 4 to 7 a.m., watch how a couple of these showers will start to move in. By this point, a lot of these should begin to fall apart and begin to dissipate. So our storm chance looks to be very minimal first thing in the morning, but our western and northwestern counties, you have a chance for seeing at least some precipitation first thing tomorrow. And then in the afternoon, with a little bit of daytime heating, I think we can see a few storms primarily in the afternoon and we'll go mostly north of Highway 84. Let me show you that with our forecast for tomorrow. Temperatures will get close to the lower 90s into the afternoon. Small chance west northwest in the morning and then mainly north of Highway 84 into the afternoon hours. All right, an update on the African dust. The models continue to change and vary on what we're seeing with this. This is still at least five to almost seven days out, so we'll keep you up to date on how this will occur. But what is confident is that southern Gulf of Mexico first by Monday we will get a share of some dust by Tuesday into Wednesday. This doesn't look to be too impressive light to maybe an occasional burst of moderate dust that might fill the sky. But look at what comes late next week. This is next Friday into the weekend. That's moderate to dense dust that could be making an impact in our area. Seven day forecast. We're also tracking rain chances increasing for next week, so we have them on Sunday, but becoming more likely by Tuesday in response temperatures dropping down into the 80s. Deep East Texas small chance tomorrow, but you'll see some storms increase Sunday afternoon. Marcus, thank you.